So hello all folks, uh, this will be a tutorial about the basic functions of uh, our streaming tool which is called OBS Studio uh, and I mean stream our rounds while playing WGT. So the first thing we need to do is I'm opening up, opening up the browser and we type OBS and we go to OBS uh, site and we download the version that uh, our operating system supports. Usually most of the times will be the Windows version. So we download the program and we install it and we run it. Uh, as soon as we install the program, we don't do anything uh, over settings yet, but we go to this site, speedtest.net, uh, and we're going to measure our line. So if I hit go, There will be, uh, yes, okay. Now there will be some measurement about my download speed first, which right now goes around 86, 87 uh, megabits. And then is going to be the my upload speed, which is very, very important on how we, will, we want to set up uh, our stream. The upload speed is the most crucial thing here and not the download speed. So as we see here, I have a 10.2 upload speed. No, that translates to a maximum of uh, about eight to nine thousand kilo bps for bitrate i'm going to explain what bitrate is is the the rate of the bits when we stream so it gives us just a threshold that i can do for example a stream with 20 megabits per second is not going to handle because my line can handle it. So the best way to calculate is divide this number with 10 more or less. So should be about one megabit, which is uh, 10,000 uh, kilobytes. Um, uh, so uh, so this one is 10 megabits, so it's 10,000 kilobytes. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the program. This is the interface of uh, OBS version. Here you can see the version 29.1.3. And here's the how I set up my OBS. On the left side, we have some information about the title we want to give. It's pretty easy. You can write down what uh, the, the, the title you like to have your stream, and then you hit done. And uh, on the right side, you have the chat box. So every time uh, someone is chatting with you while you are streaming a tweet, you can see uh, the, the, the chat in right here, right here. No? So let's take things uh, first. Consider that these things do not exist. I'm going to uh, show you from the start, from the beginning. So. I'm going, uh, I have some windows here, one, two, three, four windows. F the first thing we need to do is 
to hit a scene a scene so i'm going to hit the plus button add scene and i'm going to rename it as wgt2 because already have a wgt so i'm going to name it as wgt2 here it is wgt2 right now on the sources we don't have anything and here on the audio mixer i have only engaged my microphone so the thing we need to do is to go right here to settings i'm going to settings and i'm going to explain what is all about the settings okay we have the general section where you can change your language your um, your theme uh, dark gray light uh, system whatever but there is not much to do uh, right here on the general settings so we we go along we move along and we hit stream so here uh, we need to set up the provider the provider the streaming platform that we are going to uh, stream our game so if we hit the arrows right here as you can see there are various options tweets youtube facebook live restream io twitter so all and custom if you have a private uh, url let's say but most of the guys are streaming on tweets or on youtube so we're going to hit tweets and then we need to have a, an active account on Twitch because we are going to, uh, to be asked to uh, connect to Twitch. So we have we need to have an active account on Twitch. Right now it says disconnect my account because I'm already connected. I'm already connected. And as you can see, there are various servers that uh, you can connect and OBS finds for you the best server uh, for your region so it everything is automatic you don't have to do anything it does it uh, everything from itself you don't have to worry about so as soon as the server is uh, set the only thing you have to do is to go and connect to your account on Twitch and then OBS will remember that you are connected to Twitch. Every time you disconnect from Twitch, it's going to ask you again for your username, password, in order to reconnect to Twitch. Okay. Let's go. Let's move ahead and see what this thing does. Uh, we go to video. We go to video uh, first, and I'm going to explain what we see here right now we see the base canvas size the base canvas size is the resolution we have uh, on our monitor and we can see what kind of resolution we have on monitor if we hit uh, the, the display settings we can see that i have a 1920 by 1080 if i had another resolution probably obvious would have given me one of the resolution I, I i have on my monitor right now i have a 1920 by 1080 but because i'm playing because i'm playing on a different resolution i'm playing at 1024 by 768 i prefer to set up my display at the same resolution as the games so let's go again to the settings and let's go to video and open up right here we can see that we have already uh, 1920 by 1080 and 1280 by 720 let's hit 1920 by 1080 the output should be the same should be the same as our canvas resolution you don't want 
to uh, mess around with uh, downscaling because it will be harder for your CPU and GPU to handle the stream. So we need to uh, pick the same as the canvas resolution. So the downscale filter, as you can see, it grayed out. If, for example, I say, okay, let's go and uh, output 960 by 540. As you can see, the downscale filter has been enabled and you can choose the various options in order to do the downscaling because the main source is 1920 by 1080 and we uh, output the content at 960 by 540. But in order to avoid this uh, procedure, uh, this downscale, uh, we pick exactly the same uh, resolution as our base canvas size. So I will pick 1920 by 1080, so it grayed out. Uh, here are the frame rate. Here is the frame rate. And since our game is at 60 frames per second, I need to pick 60 frames per second. I can pick 30 frames per second, but it, it will be a little bit juddery. The motion will not be so smooth. Uh, but still, uh, since the game is at 60 frames per second, we're going to hit 60 frames per second. Okay, and then I'm going to hit apply. Don't forget that you need to hit apply, guys, because otherwise, uh, it will it won't uh, take the changes so afterwards we go to output and we have uh, two modes we have the advanced mode and we have the simple mode let's go to the simple mode okay the simple mode here is our video betrayed for streaming so the video betrayed is in correlation of the upload speed and now because my upload speed is at 10 megabits per second uh, I can stream let's say um, at max bitrate at 10,000 uh, kilo bps but since uh, tweets uh, can only take up to 6,000 you don't need to go over 6000 kilobps that won't make absolutely any difference video betrayed is very crucial about the quality of your stream the higher the number is the better quality you can have so um, you need to run the speed test and then you can go with three four uh five thousand kilo uh bps no uh, for those guys that they have they do not have um let's say powerful lines let's say the 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 speed right here on the upload speed it was only five five it means uh at about max max 4000 uh, kilo bps so they can go lower with this number they can put for instance 2000 2000 or even 1000 or even 1000 kilo bps so you can go uh, down to 800 kilo bps and still will be okay your stream the audio betrayed is not very crucial. You can have a 128 or uh, 160, 192. Uh, doesn't make any difference. We can only hear the, the ball just, uh, banging the ground and we, we want to hear, hear the, the heartbeat. So the quality of the sound is not very important on our game, no? Now, this button is very, very important because on video encoder we have two solutions two options we have the option 
to go with the software encoding, which means that all, let's say, the dirty job uh, will be done from our CPU, the central processor unit, or the hardware encoding, which means that all the dirty job will be done uh, by our graphics card. When I'm talking about graphics card, I mean a separate unit because there are uh, several cases that guys have internal graphics in their CPUs. So in this case, they are going to uh, pick the software encoding. In case they have a, a separate a graphics card, they can pick the hardware encoding, which is less strain for the CPU because everything is being done by the, the graphics card. No, so uh, if you ask me about the quality, if you have a, a new card, let's say a new NVIDIA 30 series, 20 series, 40 series or the new uh, AMD's uh, 6000 series, you can go with the hardware, uh, with the hardware uh, encoding. Otherwise, uh, I do have a separate graphics card, but it's an old one and the, um, the encoder is not good. So I prefer to go with the CPU encoding. So I prefer to go with X264. And now for the encoder pres preset, uh, there are various steps, let's say. No? Very fast is the standard. If you see that while you're streaming, you lose, uh, your, you lose um, frames, you drop frames, that means that your CPU is not fast enough for this setting. So you can lower it down, you can go to super fast. And then if it comes the same, you can go to ultra fast, which is a low CPU usage, lowest quality. If you want to go, if you see your CPU hanging around at uh, five, seven percent, then you can go to uh, faster or fast for higher quality, no? Okay, the audio encoder, we leave it at default, so we don't have to do anything else. This part is for the recording. We don't care right now for this part. So these are the settings, guys, for uh, the game. On the audio section, we need to enable... Uh, I have my microphone right here passing through a uh, uh, third party uh, uh, software, which is called uh, voice meter. But on your desktop audio, you need to enable, you have to go with default desktop audio and you can, you can have sound on your game. Okay, you go with default on desktop audio. We don't care about desktop audio too. We do care if you want to talk while you stream. So you are going to open up and see what kind of a microphone you are using. So we, you need to pick that. And afterwards you hit apply. Okay, you hit apply, okay. Now let's set up our game. First, I need to put down OBS and open up our game. Okay, our game has, let's say different uh, visual formats. Now it has the window mode and it has the uh, full screen mode. Depending on how you're playing, doesn't matter if you are playing in window mode or in full screen mode for the, the quality of the stream or uh, for uh, your stream adventure, let's say. So I will leave it right here as a window and then I will change it uh, back to full screen mode uh, to make you see the differences. So right now we don't see anything. 
of course we don't see anything because on the sources right here we haven't picked anything so we need to click on the add button and we need to add game capture which is right here game capture that means that OBS will be capturing only the game screen and nothing else for instance if I want to open up an Excel sheet or my calculator to do calculations about the patting or the stroke OBS is going to capture always having an option with game capture always the game I won't be showing absolutely anything else on the uh, Twitch uh, screen so we pick game capture we call it if we want WGT WGT okay I have an existence already WGT Golf I'm going to uh, I'm doing it all over again from the start from the scratch uh, because I want you to see how it works so I'm going to call it WGT or whatever name you want and I hit OK and then it opens this uh, window here so opening right here we say that we want to capture a specific window because we want to capture only the game and not any full screen application or foreground window with hotkey so capture specific window and now it opened I just opened another window and asks us asks us who uh, which which um, uh, which program do you want to run right now I have running uh, malware bytes I have uh, the action program which I record this um, um, this video I have uh, the calculator and I have the WGT Golf so I will pick WGT Golf I leave it as it is much title otherwise window uh, find the window of same executable and I hit OK OK now we have image so what we can do right here is we can drag our window like this to make it bigger we can move it around we can crop if let's say if I drag it right here I crop the uh, the bottom part so no one will uh, no one can see what am I hitting let's say uh, so but there's a an easy way just to stop everything you right click you right click on the image pay attention that uh, now WGT is unlocked if I lock it I won't be able to move it around or do absolutely anything so I have to unlock it therefore I have the the red frame and then I'm going to hit right click and hit transform just put the cursor over transform you don't hit don't click anything and you click fit to screen so everything is done guys now you have your image uh, right here uh, and you can hit the start streaming button if I hit the start streaming button I'm going to stream right now if I play so it's it's easy it's easy enough uh, I'm not going to talk about how to add the music or how to add various um, uh, uh, let's say pictures on the left side on the right side or or whatever you can do with OBS it's a program that has a great potential you can do whatever you like there are a bunch of videos about at YouTube but right now you are ready to go and stream your video as soon as I stream the video 
uh, right here let's say I'm going to start recording I'm going to make a record already recording with another software so I'm not going to hit a recording perhaps there will be some problems uh, so when you hit start streaming right here you can see uh, the frame rate which will be 60 frames per second as the games uh, as the games uh, the game is playing at 60 frames per second and if you drop frames it's going to give you that you have dropped 10 20 100 1000 that means that something is wrong and we need to go to the settings and change the settings which the most important is right here the video betrayed the video betrayed if we can't handle it or the encoder preset we can go lighter super fast or ultra fast and the bitrate can be at 700 800 kbps no so it's all done guys uh, this is how you set up uh, the game on um, uh, OBS and you can stream your games um, I could provide various information about uh, fancy stuff advanced lessons about OBS but it's not the case we need only to do two things first we need to run the speed test to see our upload speed and then according to our upload speed to go to settings and um, and see on the uh, on the on the video sorry on the output what's what is our bitrate no and I will go a little bit further I'm going to change this one into full screen mode apply changes now you can see that I changed it into full screen mode I have the full screen mode uh, here you can see the black bars right here it's a 4 by 3 aspect ratio I will put it down and I will open OBS and as you can see nothing changed nothing changed because we didn't change resolution we only changed the way that our game is being displayed if i change resolution if i change resolution uh, uh, then it's going to change this window let me show you let's go again to instead of 1024 let's say someone plays at 1920 by 1080 apply changes keep changes let's go back and let's see what happened here it didn't happen absolutely anything because uh, we haven't closed uh, OBS we haven't closed OBS and it, it keeps the the um, the settings we have done before so if I close down OBS and now that I have the game at 1080 I'm going to close the game as well I'm going to reopen the game play You have all the 16 by 9 aspect ratio 1920 by 1080 is 16 by 9 aspect ratio and then I'm going to open OBS let's go OBS is right here And as you can see guys because we are having an output 
at 1080, let's go again to settings, output, our video is, our canvas size is 1920 by 1080 and our output is 1920 by 1080. So as you can see, the, the format has changed into 16 by 9 and you can stream like this if you want. So it's quite easy guys, it's quite easy. Uh, if uh, for a reason I want to change again, let me open again the OBS there. I don't have to do anything because it's already at the margins, 1920 by 1080. But let's say I want to be to go back into window mode 1024 window mode apply changes keep changes go back because many people are playing on the on their laptops no we haven't changed a thing here i put down obs i'm going to close the game and reopen it window mode ten twenty four by seven sixty eight and let's go to OBS. The OBS just crashed, so we need to reopen it. It's not like we, you are going to change resolutions on the fly. You set up OBS and you leave it there. You play uh, this way. And then I need to make it appear, no? Make it appear. Let's see. Properties. Have WGT exe. Something went wrong definitely with the game. Let's close it and reopen it. Let's close again, OBS. Open up the game. It's not OBS fault, trust me guys. It's not OBS fault. It's the game's fault. However, let's go. I have opened the game and then I'm going to reopen OBS. Let's see if this time it's going to fix the issues. Yeah, it fixed it. Now, as you can see, we have the black bars on the left, on the right side. As I have told you, you can move uh, the window. If we unlock it, we can move it. Uh, right here to the right side and put some images our logos for the, the um, our club or our name here or just to play a video uh, you will add sources right here guys in order to have something into your window here you have to add sources if you don't add sources you're not going to see anything and the easy way to uh, to put at the center, transform, fit to screen, there you go. So I leave you here guys. That is all how to set up uh, the, the game uh, and stream uh, using Twitch or YouTube. Uh, I wish I was clear enough with everything it's not very difficult it's all about your line and your bitrate no and you're going to have a decent stream with no problems okay catch you all guys bye bye